for me from the discussion this morning and the challenges which were presented, the three main challenges are first gender, second climate change and third governance. Rural women are do doing the biggest work of agricultural production, but they still up to know they don't have the same access to the resources, to land rights, to credits and so on. So it's very important that we still work on gender aspects and we see rural women really as a main group in, in, in all the activities. They don't have as many mobile phones as men and they don't, if they have mobile phones, often they don't have access to internet. And so we also, we always have to look carefully what kind of methodologies, instruments and so on we are using not to uh, make the gender divide bigger, even if we think it's very easy for women to have access to mobile information. I think the reality of climate change is here today and we are much too slow to react and to, to find solutions on climate change. We have to react much quicker, we have to uh, invest much more in research, in agricultural research. If not, we can't feed the world in 30 years any longer. The third point was governance. Governance was not mentioned as one of the big trends, but one of the participant, uh, participants mentioned it. And I think governance in rural development concerning prices, fairness and so on is a very big topic and we should never forget that without a good governance, rural development won't make a future. There's a lot of activities from young people, innovative, creative, new ideas. And I think we are usually working very much with our target groups, older farmer groups, um, cooperatives and so on. And we should make sure that this young generation is included in all what we are doing.